Hello, I'm Dr. Anil Gurig, and today I'm going to talk to you very briefly about insemination over the age of 43. Now, often we start seeing a decline in live birth rates after the age of 41 and 42, and that is across the board to IVF. And if you look at 43, the chance of IVF success ranges between 5 and 6 percent, and intrauterine insemination also becomes low. So the question is, is it a futile treatment? And it's a very difficult question to answer. So when you look at this paper of intrauterine inseminations, prediction of success and thresholds for poor prognosis and futile care, 1,117 women undergoing 2,912 cycles, and these were with clomiphene or with gonadotrophins. And insemination was done. So if you looked at the live birth rate, it was 9.4%, which is still less than 10%. And it's generally in a range of between, around 37 to 40. Women who were 43 and above at 43 years, they had a live birth rate of 1%, which is significantly lower. Whether you added gonadotrophins or not did not change it. In all these cycles, what made the difference? The difference was made generally by the number of follicles and by the number of motile sperm. And what it did indicate is that the number of motile sperm reaching 10 million seemed to make the difference in live birth rates. So the, the, the question which they, they, they asked is, is very simple, is, is it better to proceed with IUI or proceed with IVF? And that's again, a relatively difficult question we need, need to answer. Now, one of the things with this study is it's very difficult to prove whether to call it a futile attempt, but this is a discussion you have with patients who are 43, 44, and 45, and what treatment would be better? Because whatever treatment you try, the chance of pregnancy are significantly lower. Thank you.